Welcome to the Daily Devotionals podcast with Pastor Paul Pett from Redeemer Lutheran Church. Subscribe to this podcast on your favorite podcast app. Grace, mercy, and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Good afternoon, Redeemer family and everybody uh, watching on the internet around the world. Our devotion for today is based on our Old Testament reading for the 19th Sunday after Pentecost. The Old Testament reading for the 19th Sunday after Pentecost is Numbers chapter 11 and selected verses, verses 4 to 6, 10 to 16, 24 to 29. Numbers chapter 11, selected verses. Now, the rabble that was among the children of Israel had a strong craving, and the people of Israel also wept again and said, Oh, that we had meat to eat. We remember the fish we ate in Egypt. It cost nothing. The cucumbers, the melons, the leeks, the onions, and the garlic. But now our strength is dried up, and there is nothing at all but this manna to look at. Moses heard the people weeping throughout their clans, everyone at the door of his tent, and the anger of the Lord blazed hotly. And Moses was displeased. Moses said to the Lord, Why have you dealt ill with your servant? And why have I not found favor in your sight that you lay the burden of all this people on me? Did I conceive all this people? Did I give them birth that you should say to me, carry them in your bosom as a nurse carries a nursing child to the land that you swore to give to their fathers? Where am I to get meat to give all this people? For they weep before me and say, Give us meat that we may eat. I am not able to carry all this people alone. The burden is too heavy for me. If you treat me like this, kill me at once. If I find favor in your sight, that I may not see my wretchedness. Then the Lord said to Moses, Gather for me the seventy men of the elders of Israel, whom you know to be the elders of the people and officers over them and bring them to the tent of meeting, and let them take their stand there with you. Moses went out and told the people the words of the Lord, and he gathered 70 men of the elders of the people and placed them around the tent. And the Lord came down in the cloud and spoke to him and took some of the spirit that was on him and put it on the 70 elders. And as soon as the spirit rested on them, they prophesied, but they did not continue doing it. Now two men remained in the camp, one named Eldad and the other named Medad, and the spirit rested on them. They were among those registered, but they had not gone out to the tent. And so they prophesied in the camp. And a young man ran and told Moses, Eldad and Medad are prophesying in the camp. And Joshua, the son of Nun, the assistant of Moses from his youth, said, My Lord Moses, stop them. But Moses said to him, Are you jealous for my sake? Would that all the Lord's people were prophets, and that the Spirit would put and that the Lord would put his spirit on them. <clears throat> this uh, account of what takes place with Moses and the people and The elders is uh, an incredible account. Every pastor who has ever served a congregation, large or small, will tell you that at one point or another, the task seemed overwhelming. At one point or another, too many funerals in a short period of time, too many other things, maybe a wedding, maybe some other celebration, maybe a personal crisis, maybe a difficulty within his own family. You know, I can go on and on. Anytime you serve people, sometimes it becomes overwhelming. And, and while I read a devotion that said that it sounded like Moses was whining there's the old adage, unless you walk a mile in the other man's shoes. 
it's important for us to remember that Moses was the one recognized leader over a group of people that numbered over 500,000. And they all would come to him with their complaints and they all would come to him for judging their situations or cases or disagreements. They all would come to him and have expectations of his leadership, his help, his guidance, and yes, in this case, his providing. And it was overwhelming at times. I can't imagine how overwhelming it must have been. And yet, Moses did the job well, but at this point, it was just too much. And so he laid it before the Lord. And while the people complained, because that's what the people did, Moses just couldn't handle that any longer. And God recognized that it wasn't God's fault that God had overwhelmed Moses. It was the people who had overwhelmed Moses. It was their complaints. It was their situations. And every pastor has felt that. And so Moses just laid his, his heart before the Lord, just plunged it right there and saying, God, if you're going to treat me like this, kill me now. And God had compassion. God didn't get angry with Moses because Moses was overwhelmed. God didn't get angry with Moses saying, buck up and do your job. God had compassion. So God tried to lift some of the load off Moses. You know, in each and every one of our lives, there's a time where we just become overwhelmed. Maybe it's overwhelmed with a situation in our work, in a situation in our families, in a situation in the world, and we just become overwhelmed. And by becoming overwhelmed, we might think like Moses did, God, I don't want to deal with this, just kill me now. But God has compassion. God understands our situation in life. God knows better than we do what we're going through, and he has compassion. And the solution is the power of his Holy Spirit. For Moses, it was the Spirit laid on other men to assist him. For you and me, it's the power of the Holy Spirit through his word, the power of the Holy Spirit in our baptism, the power of the Holy Spirit in Christ's true body and blood, in, with, and under the bread and wine. These are what feed us. These are what lift our burdens. These are what strengthen us for the task. These are those who come to our aid and strengthen us, uplift us, and send us people to help, people to comfort, people to sustain us and lift us up and help do for us when we can't do for ourselves. These are people that God has laid his spirit on through the power of word and sacrament. We recognize we do not walk alone. We walk together as the body of Christ. We walk together as brothers and sisters in Christ. We walk together with Christ, our brother, the spirit within us, and the Father to provide and protect us. We need to see the hand of God, the compassionate, loving, and gentle hand of God amongst the burden, the spirit that he sends us for our hope, for our peace, for our strength, for our comfort, for the strengthening of our faith, and for all those who surround us as brothers and sisters in Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Please pray with me. Father in heaven, there are so many times in life that we become overwhelmed. Help us to see that. And help us to recognize, like Moses, we need to turn to you. 
not so much in the form of complaint or asking to end our lives, but to pour our hearts out before you and to hear your promise. Come to me, all you are weary and heavy laden. I will give you rest. Help us lay our burden at the foot of the cross. Help us lay that overwhelming feeling at the foot of the cross and turn to you, your word and sacraments for the strength of the spirit that we need and to our brothers and sisters in Christ for their support. Help us know that you and they are there together in the spirit to help bear that burden. For your promises, we never bear it alone. And Jesus gave us that certainty through his cross. In his name we pray. Amen. Have a blessed Tuesday. May the Lord assure you of his presence, his power, and his comfort. In Jesus' name, have a great day. Thanks for listening. At Redeemer Lutheran Church, our mission is to share with all people the good news of Jesus Christ, teaching faith and love. Learn more about our ministry at RedeemerLutheranGB.com. Thank you.